have touched down. The Russian swans have come to South Africa. Could it be that President Bala Ahmed Tinubu is insisting on going to war in Niger because he doesn't want to be seen as a toothless bulldog? Here's one thing I observed about pride. Sometimes pride can actually make you do things you never expected to do. Because if you put your ears to the ground, you'll find out that most opinion leaders, the Senate, and even citizens of Niger have come out to say, we do not want a war. We must use diplomacy to solve this war. But no, Bola Ahmed Tinubu and ECOWAS is hell-bent on going to war. Now, here's what he must know. The truth of the matter is that the military junta in Niger is not just being supported by Mali and Burkina Faso. It is no longer rumor that the president of Russia is actually supporting them as he has actually gone ahead to support Mali and Burkina Faso. Now, to prove this to you, I'm going to be showing you the fighter jets of Russia that has actually landed in South Africa. Now, if you check through the map of Africa, you'll find out that the truth is South Africa is not actually very close to Niger, but the fighter jets of Russia has landed in South Africa. What does that mean? It means that just in case ECOWAS decide to invade Niger, they will be within the continent to respond immediately. I'm going to be showing you that video, but before I do that, I would love you to listen to one of the very strong opinion leaders, a person of Pastor David Wilmer, the pastor of Salvation Ministries, where he has gone ahead to warn Tinubu and the ECOWAS, telling them that going for war will not be the best option. Now, for those of you who have, may have not experienced the war, he went ahead to share his ordeal and the experience he had during the Nigerian Civil War. You want to sit back and listen to details of this video as I'll be back to wrap up the video. Do want to hit the comment section and give us a like as a means of courtesy to the producers of this content and I'm going to be continually here to save you. My name is Moses and this is Think Tank TV. When my grandmother was alive during the Civil War, we were small, I can still remember. So a, a military man would come, all of you who say want to go to war, they, they didn't go to war, that's why they say they war. If you saw war, you will never talk war. You see all these people are talking war? No, do you see anybody from the East say war? No. No, when the war came in Nigeria, the Western part did not experience it. Not did not, war. Hmm. That's why they say want to go to war. Don't try to war. Go and tell a librarian war. Liberia will look at you like they say war. War. Liberian war. Hey. One thing with war, even if you win, the devastation that will happen. Don't try to, we have too many problems. So my grandmother, she was old. During the Civil War, soldiers used to come and capture women. You know, war is a very dirty thing. A soldier would just carry a woman that did not marry by force. You don't, people don't know war. They would come and capture women. Whether you are married or not, they just capture you and just by force keep you in the house. That's the see most soldiers, they just have children everywhere, just civil war. They say, who born this one? Now, one Yoruba man born, and one Asama man born. It's by force, they just carry the women and just stay with them. And continue their life. The war is not good though. So my grandmother, this soldier will be coming every night. She would took the lantern and look at this face. So she said, you, night like like you come. That is <laughs> that's every night you come. You stupid. You football. That she say you are the one. You should come on, get out. And she, when she was an old woman, the soldier could not do anything. He would come in the night. We are small. We be in the house. Would, she would come and say, "You night like like you come. You night like." That's every night. You soldier, you come. You understand? Oh, you are not enjoying it. <laughs> I mean, no, nobody should think war. I'm hearing some people think of war. Let their children go and fight. They keep their nobody should go war. It's not the answer. War is not the war is not good though. <laughs> if you if you know why people are talking war, <laughs> somebody in Lagos can be saying, I want to fight. If you were born in the East to the Civil War, you will never talk of war. They carried my father to Iboland. My mother moved to the this your family was cut out. So, we were somewhere. My father was in Iboland. My mother we are somewhere. War. War. They did there, they say war because you don't, you don't see war. Thank you. If you try it in Nigeria, you see it not. Mm. You know, if you buy tomatoes again, no. <laughs> don't try it. Do what? There's a better way to solve problems, not war. Ekumok went to Liberia. Most of our Nigerian soldiers died. But they put it on the one or now. We're not putting out, you know. <laughs> oh. Already Putin is warning them. See, they went to Syria. Today, Americans have lost. Syrian man has been there for how many years now? 
you know, hazard or whatever you call it. Eh? They were to push him out. He's still there today. Look, put it. Put it. Now, can I drink? Ain't like trouble. He's born with trouble. I like him. Already he has one. <laughs> Please don't try it. Go and solve that problem with another, another wisdom. David fought, fought. Solomon did not fight. Please take wisdom. Yeah, we won't go fight. Fight where? Huh. When they throw you, won't boom. <laughs> Blackjack, NATO reporting name, officially the two 160 Russia's strategic nuclear bombers. This is the furthest south that they have ever been. We're closer to Antarctica than we are to Russia at this point. Now, ordinarily, a nuclear bomber doesn't make the most welcome guest, but this is a symbol, a symbol of trust between Russia and South Africa. Now you can love them or you can hate them, but this is a majestic aircraft. The world's heaviest supersonic uh, military aircraft. This thing weighs in at almost 300 tons, capable of staying in the air for an entire day. We all have different definitions of what it is to be a friend. But if you're comfortable inviting a supersonic nuclear bomber for a visit, we're pretty good friends. We're going to go meet the pilots. Uh, they're pretty tired. This has been a, a long journey, but the press and uh, these aircraft have caused, uh, of course, quite a stir here. Dozens and dozens of journalists come to see the site. The press are very eager to talk to them. It's been a sense of novelty, like entering uncharted waters, but I think we'll get to explore this part of the world too. We've seen a whole lot of various scenery, our Earth is enormous, but for the most part we've been flying over the ocean. We have a tradition, just like the sailors, we congratulate each other when we're crossing the equator. Firstly, I want to say it's um, a pleasure for us as South African Air Force to receive the Russian Federation Air Force to visit us. Of course, the conditions of the Air Force Base waterproof in terms of the length of the runway, we made our planning and we are sure that the two bombers will be able to land and be uh, nicely accommodated here. The Russian side has been very, very careful to keep any and all politics out of this visit and its statements. But come on, we can read between the lines. Vladimir Putin is hosting dozens and dozens of African leaders. The world is changing, and Russia's message is clear. It's back in Africa. Old empires die, and new powers are born. And for Russia, 21st century, Africa is the place. You see, sometimes people may want to estimate the strength of a nation by virtue of their population. But go check through history. When the US actually invaded Iraq, they thought that this war was going to be lasting for just a few weeks, but it ended up lasting for even above a decade. Please do me a favor, do want to hit the like button and share this video. I want to believe that either directly or by proxy, President Bala Ahmed Tinubu and some of his allies may stumble on this message and actually do want to take the right decision. Also do want to go to the comment section. I really want to know what your thought is about the current happenings in Africa, do well to also hit the subscribe button if you're new to our station and we're going to be continually here to serve you. Thank you so much for joining us, all our viewers and returning subscribers. We do not take it lightly. My name is Moses and this is Think Tank TV. Bye for now.